What if I told you that there's an automated system that you can build that will create your content using the power of AI? Okay, because I'm somebody that spent a lot of time doing content creation. I've always hated it. It, it takes hours. You need inspiration. I get writer's block and I've always avoided it. Okay, but fast forward to 2024, I've actually built a system that can take breaking news and that can be from any format and turn it into content for LinkedIn, for Twitter and for Facebook. Okay, so you can see that inside of make.com here. Make is the foundation of all my automations and how it works is that it will take content from RSS. Okay, so this could be blogs, it could be news articles, it can be anything that you want it to be, right? And this is mostly breaking news. So I'm getting the fresh up-to-date content and I'm going to post it as soon as it arrives, okay? I'm going to create my own version of it and then post it as soon as it arrives, okay? And then it uses three agents here. These are chat GPT agents. The first one will create a LinkedIn post, the second one will create a Twitter post, and the third one will create a Facebook post. And then what I like to do is I like to save it into Airtable, right? Because I could actually replace these modules and send it directly to LinkedIn, to Twitter, to Facebook. But since I have followers on each of these platforms, I want to make sure that my content is reviewed first. And this is something you can outsource, right? You can, put, you can send it to a VA or somebody else in your organization, or you could do it yourself. It really doesn't take that long. You can review the content, which will then take it to the second part of the automation, which is it will watch the records in Airtable. Once the content is approved, as you can see the three filters here, it will then post it to LinkedIn, to Twitter, X, and Facebook. Okay, so how does this work? Well, let's start off by building the automation. So the first thing you want to do is you want the RSS module, okay? And you want to retrieve feed items. And then for the URL, we're going to use Google Alerts. Okay, so let's say you're... You know, my I, I write about ChatGPT, right? But let's say you're writing uh, about dentistry. That's your niche, okay? Let's create an alert for that. And then we're going to change it to as it happens. It's going to be automatic, English, if that's your language. Regional, I like to the United States because they have the most content, uh, only the best results. And instead of delivering it to my email address, I want to deliver it to an RSS feed, okay? And then once you've created that, you want to take this, um, icon here, okay? And then grab the XML URL feed. And then head back into your automation and then paste it here where it says URL. Okay, date from, you can select anywhere. So I'm just gonna, for the sake of this video, select it from the beginning of November, but you can start today, tomorrow, yesterday, whatever. Okay, and then we're gonna okay that. Uh, maximum number of results, uh, let's put 10 for this. Uh, example, I mean, you can get whatever you want, right? Just remember that if it's 100, 200, it's good. the automation could be slower, it's going to use more operations, but you get the picture. So let's just say, for example, we're just going to use 10, and let's okay that, and then we're going to run it. So run the module, make sure everything's green, and you've got outputs, okay? Bundles means it's output, so these are, I've got 10 articles from the RSS feed, okay? So far, so good. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to create a record in Airtable. So I typically use Airtable for this. And this is what my Airtable looks like. Okay, so you can see that we have a, a table. Uh, so this is a base. This is a table and you've got one for LinkedIn post, LinkedIn status, Twitter post, Twitter status, Facebook post, Facebook status, and last modified time. The last modified time, I'll show you why you need that. But for the most part, you're just going to need something like this, a setup like this. So you can see I've run I've run this automation before just to make sure that it's working, which it is, okay? So what you want to do is you want to create a record, and this is what it looks like, okay? So you connect it up to your Airtable, select the base, select the table, and that's about it, okay? So what you do is head back into the automation. We're going to go to Airtable, create a record, and then just select your, your connection, okay? So for me, it's going to be the Automation King's base, and the table is just gonna be social media content. I mean, you can call it whatever you want, right? The, the name doesn't matter as long as it's mapped correctly. Okay, and then we're just gonna click on okay here. And then the next part is we need a router because there's three platforms, right? Uh, I mean, if, you use, if you're just using one, then you don't need a router, uh, but I suggest you do it multiple times, right? So we wanna go into flow control and it's a router. Okay, and the first one is gonna be the ChatGPT agent, right? And I'm gonna message an assistant, and I'll show you why I'll do that, because I'm using pre-built assistants, 
um, for this. Okay, so the first one is LinkedIn. Let me just connect to the correct account, which is this one here. And then you select the assistant. So I've built out a ton of assistants because I use these a lot, right? So I don't want to keep putting the prompt in over and over again. I just want to use the uh, assistant and then we're just going to grab that and then we're just going to message the, for the message, we're just going to use description. Okay. So you can see how that's set up on this one here. And this is to create the LinkedIn post. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this one. Okay. Uh, the role is assistant and we're just going to grab the description. Um, and so we save that and then you want to save it into Airtable, as you can see, like this. So we're going to update a record. Okay. So you want to grab the Airtable module, update record, make sure you connect it to the correct link uh, connection. The base is always going to be the same, um, which is the automation kings for me. And then you want to select the social media content or table, whatever you've called it. And then you want to select result. Okay, I'm not gonna run this off this one. I'm gonna run it off the original one, but I'm just showing you exactly how this works, okay? So you wanna run it off this result. Now, uh, for the record ID, we're just gonna take the ID from the first Airtable module, which is ID, okay? Okay, that. And I do recommend that you rename these. It's just easy to find. So uh, what do we do? We wanna rename it. We're just gonna call this create LinkedIn post. There you go. And what that means is when you map it, it's just easier to find, right? So let me show you exactly what, what that means. So because I'm gonna use three different modules for the ChatGPT agent, you can see here that I know for the LinkedIn post, I need the result from Create LinkedIn, okay? So okay that. Uh, and then you wanna do the same thing again. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna copy these. And then we're gonna paste these here. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this. And then I'm gonna paste it here. And then I'm gonna connect it, right? But this time, let's just align this up. We're gonna call this one, uh, create the Twitter X post. Okay, and this time I'm gonna select the assistant. I'm gonna show you how to do the assistant in a second. I'm just gonna map these first, okay? So this was Twitter, the assistant, and the description's the same, okay? Just okay that. And then we just wanna change this. So what did I call it in the original? Uh, save LinkedIn post. Okay, so let's just rename these and get into a good habit. Save LinkedIn post. And then we're gonna do the same here, but we're just gonna map, we're gonna change the mapping. Okay, so save Twitter X post. We need to change the mappings, okay? Cause this one's set to LinkedIn, if you remember. So we're gonna remove LinkedIn and we want to save it to where it says Twitter X. Okay. Uh, but this time we're going to rename this to Twitter X. Okay. And then we're going to get the Twitter X from the, let me just come out of this. Doesn't seem to map properly. Still think some connected to this one. So we're going to just come back in here. Just wait for it to update. And then for Twitter, we're just gonna get the result from the Twitter X and we can remove this one. Okay, and you get the picture. And then we just gotta okay that to save. And then lastly, just align it and then we're gonna do the same again. So copy these, paste it. Just gonna cut these up, align it. And now we're gonna call this one Facebook. Or Meta, if you prefer to call it Meta. And then we're gonna save this, change this to save the same again. Just so that you understand how it works when you come back to it, right? And then for this, we're gonna change the assistant to Facebook. Now you can't do a prompt, you can just do um, create, create a completion. Um, but I've done it with a an agent because I use this for multiple automations. Okay, so we're going to select the Facebook agent. Uh, we're going to assist an assistant. We're going to do the description, which is fine. And then here, we're going to do the same again. 
but we're just going to change the mappings. Okay, so now I want to go to the Facebook post, which is result. I want to take get rid of this one because we've already got it in the other modules. Okay, so that's what it should look like when you're done. Now, to create the assistance, you want to head over to platform.openai.com, go over to Playground, and you can actually create an assistant. Okay, so this is what the LinkedIn assistant looks like. Now, I've spent a lot of time on the prompt here, okay? So the reason I do it inside of the Playground is because you can test it. You can test it inside of the console here, right? So you can give it some questions, and you can test the, the output of the LinkedIn agent. Um, and so I've given it a lot of prompts, but most important thing is you want to give it examples. So at least give it three examples. So if you have a specific writing style in LinkedIn for Twitter and for Facebook, just paste those examples in there. If you don't have a writing style, but you like somebody else's style, just put it in there. Just say like, you know, write in the Alex Homozy style, right? And then just, you know, find three of his uh, LinkedIn because he's very popular and he's very active on LinkedIn and just paste three examples, three examples they like. The three examples are viral. They've got lots, lots of content, et cetera, et cetera. So you get the picture and you want to do that with uh, LinkedIn, Twitter. So this is a Twitter one and I've also done it for Facebook. And this is what I'm calling inside of the modules. Okay. So this is the first part that's done and dusted. Okay. So what this is going to do and I'll run it live is it's going to create a post for LinkedIn, for Twitter X and for Facebook. Okay. Now the second part of the automation is we want it to trigger and post after we reviewed it and only when we reviewed it and selected approved. Okay, so you can see the power of this, right? So then you, this is the second part of the automation, right? So it's going to watch a record and then it's going to filter. So the filter is, the, does the LinkedIn status say approved? If it does, post it to LinkedIn, right? It's going to create a user text post. The same is true for Twitter. Is Twitter status set to approved? Does it contain the word approved? Uh, if it does, then create a post on Twitter, okay? And the third one is do the same for Facebook. Okay, so we're going to build this out right now. So the first one is a watch records, and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to show you, and we're going to build this together. Okay, now you're going to set the same uh, table base, but you're going to need a trigger field, which is last modified time. That's what I use. You can use created time, but I like to use last modified because it, lets, it gives me a date time stamp of how this was built. Okay, so what do we say? It was watch records, right? Yeah, watch records. And again, just connect up to, to the correct base. So I'm going to select mine. The base is going to be the Automation Kings. It's going to be social media content table. And I'm going to use last modified time as a trigger field. Okay. So then just okay that. Uh, label field, you can just use the same. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then we're just going to do from now on. Okay. And then you want to add a router. So do a flow control router. And then remember when we go back, we're going to post the uh, to LinkedIn, but we're going to use a text post for this example. Okay, so we go here, find the LinkedIn module, uh, which is this one here. And then we're going to do create a text post. Okay, connect it up to your account. And then the content is just going to be the LinkedIn post from the Airtable module, okay? That's what we're gonna select. And the media type, you can, if you wanna do an article, you can do that, but I'm just gonna leave it empty. Visibility is public, main feed, that's fine. Okay, and we're gonna do the same again for Twitter, Twitter X. If you haven't created a connection, just create a connection, like so, I've done this before. So it's just a, an OAuth connection, uh, quite straightforward. But for Twitter, we're going to select the Twitter X post uh, field from Airtable, okay? And we're going to okay that. And then the last one is going to be Facebook. So find Facebook. And then we're going to create, uh, where's it gone? Let me just come out of this. Have they changed it? Looks like they've changed it. So let's try it again. Looks like they moved where it was. Uh, Facebook pages. And then we're gonna do create a post. Okay, and then that just goes there. Let's align it up. Same again, just create, create a connection to your Facebook. And then select the page. So I'm just gonna select Automation Kings. And then the message is just gonna be the Facebook post. Okay, and if you wanna put a link, you can select the link as well. 
just going to okay that and that's fine but now we're going to need a filter okay so the first filter is going to be uh, is it approved right and the condition is going to be linkedin status and it needs to contain the word approved okay and move this out of the way and do the same again for twitter so we just put it approved and then this time we're going to select the twitter x status okay and then it contains approved and the last one is facebook so we're just going to do it again the condition this time now is facebook status and we're going to set it to contain the word approved now i'm using the word approved whatever your word whatever your status is inside of airtable just use that it's just got to match that okay so that's it that's all that's all of it so now what will happen is if i select and i'm not going to do this because my i want to i want to review this first right but if i select approved here it's going to post it's going to trigger this part of the automation and it's going to post it to LinkedIn, right? Now, this one's set to every hour. You could change this to every minute, every 15 minutes. You probably want to, you probably don't want to do it every 15 minutes or every minute because it's going to, it's going to post too much, right? But normally I post once a day on LinkedIn, two, three times a day on Twitter and once a day on Facebook. Okay. And that's it. That's really it. So let me show you how the automation works. Okay, I'm going to show you live on this video. So I'm just going to run this. And remember, it's going to take everything from RSS. Let's just plug that in. So now you can see it's going to go into the LinkedIn post module for ChatGPT, and it's going to create the LinkedIn post. You could make it a little bit more complicated and plug in a, a perplexity module here to summarize the article before you uh, create a ChatGPT version of it. Right? Sometimes you get better results. Test it out. You can also use Claude Anthropic. See how that works out for you as well. So you can see here that it's created, let me just delete this. It's created a set of articles, okay? So let's have a look at the LinkedIn post. Um, so this one is about generative AI and it's not bad, right? Like you could go in here, you could still edit it if you wanted to. Um, you can get an AI, uh, an assistant of VA to do this for you, right? You can still edit it, tidy up. If you wanna put some emojis in there, just train your AI assistant to do that. So this is the same article for tweets. Now, obviously, remember tweets don't have the same character count as LinkedIn, so you want to factor that in into the prompt. And the last one is Facebook. So Facebook and LinkedIn are going to be long form. Twitter is going to be short form if it's a if it's a tweet. Okay, and that's it. And you can see it's creating it based off all the articles that are pulled in from the RSS feed. Let's just see what this one is like before I wrap up the call, I'll wrap up the video. And you can see it's not a bad job, right? Now you could also um, plug in an AI module here um after the linkedin post if you wanted a picture and so you could just use dali so there is a chat gpt module called dali uh, which is generate an image so you generate an image based off the uh the linkedin let me just come out of this Ugh. where's the close button gone okay well you got the picture let me just come out this one. Let me go into here. Uh, into, where's it gone? This one here. So you could actually put in a module um, inside of the automation here, and it will create a, an image based off the result from here. Okay. Uh, you could do the same for the Twitter post. You could do the same for Facebook. Right. So you could, you could actually create a, an image of the article. And then what you need to do is it's going to give you a URL, right, where the image is saved. So all you need to do then is after Twitter status or even before Twitter status, you just need a URL for each of these um, platforms, right? And then you just map the URL um, into the field, the corresponding field inside of LinkedIn for Twitter X and for Facebook, okay? So that's basically how you create automated content that will save you literally hours, hundreds and hundreds of hours every single month because it's done on autopilot, it's done round the clock and it's breaking news, okay? So if you like this video, Please subscribe to my channel. More subscribers gives me more views, makes me more popular. And obviously I can create more content for you guys, okay? Secondly, leave a comment, like it, and share it with anybody 
that would find this useful. Okay, so thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll speak to you soon.